Hello, is this working? Is this on? Just let, gonna prepare my coffee and uh, then we will start. I just got this French press and I really love it. So here we go. Oh, I forgot to have my headphones here so I can hear myself talking to you. And as promised, uh, we are gonna go back to the Chimera tutorials as you can see down on that frame there's the text for the location of the tutorials and we're going to repeat some of the previously performed instructions but instead of using the menu version i'm going to show you how to use the command line instance or the command line instructions this is important in many ways because the command line complements the menu version. You can do probably more or less the same things with the menus as with the command line, but the command line is going to allow you to have far more control over selections. And there's, there's probably more than one thing that you can only do with the command line. Then please open the tutorials as I'm showing here. And then we're gonna have a new, well, the very same, same set of instructions, but we are gonna be using, but we're gonna be using commands in text, okay? Okay, this podcast is updated over here. Let's jump to it. Sometimes, I, because I have, in some computers I have installed Chimera X, sometimes I make the mistake of opening one and uh, not the other, but this computer is not that one. Here, so I'm gonna start again. Let me hide this. I'm gonna start again doing what I have already told you I usually do and it's organizing organizing in the way my screen to suit the needs of this uh, practice so I usually start here in the favorites menu, model panel. Here, I'm gonna locate it here. Then my side view. Then for this specific tutorial, we're gonna need the command line. And you see the command line down here. And I'm gonna have also my reply log just in case. Sometimes it's easy to follow through to notice to know that a command fail or work by looking at this reply log. Okay, so this is ready. Let's jump to it or hop to it as you prefer. Our introduction is pretty much the same. Uh, you can do things in Chimera in many ways. One of them is the command line. So we're gonna repeat what we did before, instead of going through the menus and clicking, we're gonna use this command directly on the command line in the Chimera window. So the command is open one sick. Down here in our command line, I'm gonna type open, oh, properly spelled of course, one sick. Of course, let me remind you what's the deal here. This is gonna work if you have previously downloaded that protein with the code one sick or if you are connected to the internet just to test that i'm gonna type in well uh, yeah i i'm hmm, i'm gonna open a pdb database window 
um, and just find a code, one that at random, I guess, I shouldn't have from the latest entry. So 6HQA. H Q four, not a. Mm -hmm. I'm connected to the internet, so this should work. Okay, I hadn't downloaded this structure previously, but because I'm connected to the internet, it worked. Now, notice something that is very useful in these instances. Is that the command line? has a memory. So if I use my up and down arrows in my keyboard, I can go back to the previously used command and open the previous structure, which in this case is the one we want. Now, instead of using the presets activity, uh, sorry, the presets menu, I can use the command, the simple command display. Now let's try that. There we go. All of the atoms were, were shown just by using this command. So as you can see, even though it implies memorizing these commands, it accomplishes exactly the same thing. And maybe even a little bit quicker if you don't want to take your hands off the keyboard to reach for the mouse or the other way around if you stick to the menus. In this section, moving the structure with the mouse is exactly the same, but let's jump to this one. Hide with ribbons to rebuild the back to rebuild the backbone. This is very interesting because you need to locate your key to type that symbol that looks like a, like the squiggle on an ñ. So in my keyboard, it's in Spanish. Although my keyboard is in Spanish, notice that up, he up here the language selected for the keyboard is English. My keyboard doesn't show that symbol, but pressing shift and the... Let me be clear, sorry. Uh, I'm just thinking how to say it. My left shift key, which is the one on the far left, and the key right next to it, which in my keyboard is uh, bigger than and smaller than, that actually types that symbol. In yours, you're going to have to check it out to find out who at which uh, key or key combination gives that symbol to you. In my case, it's pretty simple. And then the word ribbon. So the purpose of that command is that where typing ribbons, whereas typing ribbon is going to show the ribbons, using the symbol, it's going to do the opposite, hiding the ribbons. And that is going to be across the system. If you use for example, that symbol and the word or the command display is going to hide everything. Every single command has a, let's call it positive version, which is the command, and then a negative where you add this symbol. Oh, look, I, I haven't noticed this. I want to close this side, side view and going to go back into the command line and type start site view. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same operation of opening a window can be performed just using the command line. What's next? Oh, of course, the selections. So if you remember, there's this code, the rest name, the rest number and the chain and the atom name. Those are going to be parameters for selection. If you, if you use them, you have to be, uh, sorry, I was looking for something that I noticed I haven't opened. You can use them to select things. So like, we're going to follow this command. The option, the command option is, of course, color. Then you know that the function is going to be color. The color is displayed or cell indicated here. And then what atom or residue is going to have that color applied to it. So color, hot pink, list. 
color hot pink colon bliss for lysine lysines were selected and colored with hot pink again if we use the little symbol that I mentioned before well actually it doesn't let me that's interesting so that one is one because of the specifications cannot be reversed like that and now the other option color hot pink without a selection uh, with an unspecific selection is selection is going to make all of them turn hot pink will this be could this be reversed with the other symbol let's find out nope this one is a command that doesn't work exactly like that that is you cannot reverse it just by adding that symbol here is again the table for that specifies what is your selection if you look to this table you can see that the hashtag symbol allows you to select a model and those models are listed on your model panel here in this case we only have one model so that selection or that selector wouldn't be of much use the residue in this instance this colon means the name in the case of this example the license all of the license or the number if we knew the specific number of this residue like i don't know 23 we could add that number to that description and then you will be set to select you can select the chain which is colon dot and the name of the chain a b c d an atom so you use at and then the number of the at the name of the atom carbon alpha carbon etc equal is a partial wildcard so means for example all atoms that are labeled with a c so this will select carbons alpha carbons delta carbons and so on because the wildcard that is the equal a single character wildcard for example in this instance this could be the name of glycine uh, or glutamine or uh, glutamic acid because then what you are looking for is a g with two characters that can be any character afterwards let's uh, try the examples here so hmm. sorry for slurping my coffee this press work out jummily so let's type color yellow color yellow i'm gonna copy because you can do that copy paste and take this to chimera and the instruction says color yellow for the residues number 20 to 22 this is selecting and coloring a range there we go after pressing enter residues 20 and 20 21 and 22 on both chains because chain a, a and b all start number from one ha have been selected color gray ah so this is gonna be only let, let's tr i'm gonna copy it first here it is then let's read it call it's abbreviation for color so this command is gonna color in gray residues 20 to 22 but only because they those that belong to chain a you see only the residues on chain a were affected by that selection because the way this selector was crafted let's try oh this one it's one that can be reversed let's read it I, I already copied it I'm not gonna paste it until we read it is the the, op the opposite of displaying water molecules from chain A so it's gonna hide all water molecules that belong to chain A 
those spheres that are not connected to other atoms, those are the water molecules. And chain A, it's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be that one that it's already labeled in gray. It's gonna be that one, not probably. You saw that the water molecules disappeared. Now, because this command we know it can be reversed, I'm gonna remove the little symbol. The waters are back, and then using the upper up arrow in my keyboard, bring the, the negative display to call it in a, in some way, and hide the water molecules. Pretty nifty, right? Now this other command is gonna color cyan all of the residues from chain B. Ready? There you go. Now remember here residues or the definition of residue within Chimera includes the water molecules, even though they are not proteic residues. Ribbon, this because this is a negative command, it's gonna hide the ribbon display for chain B. Because there's no ribbon, nothing happens. I'm gonna show the ribbon again. Oops. I didn't reverse my command properly. There's the ribbon for chain B. Then I go back to the command that supposedly hides it. And there it goes, gone. This one is a negative command. So it's gonna hide residues five to 10 on chain A. This comma is gonna also add to that selection residues 15 to 20 from chain B. Uh -huh. Because this is a reversible command, I can just erase the little symbol and I could bring them all back. But I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna continue as it is. Represent this command, what it's gonna do. Well, let me stop there. As you can see, all of these commands are hyperlinks in the tutorial web page. So if you don't know what they mean or exactly, precisely how to use them, you can click on them which I'm gonna do right now. And they're gonna take you to a page with the description of the possibilities of use. So this command can be used as color or color, as in British English, or even call, the name of the color and any specification that you can add afterwards before which atom is gonna be selected. And here is a long description of all of the possibilities. I'm not gonna go through there, they are not uh, the most important thing right now, but just, just that you know that if you don't understand how the command is used, here you have the table for the atom specifications and each command can be click on and there's a web page that describes how does it work. So in the case of represent sphere, the next command in, command in our list, this change the draw modes of the specified atoms. So we have wires, sticks, balls and sticks, or spheres. So if we go back here and paste our command, what, it's, what this command is gonna do is that all of the atoms that are labeled CD2 are gonna be drawn as spheres. There you go. You can use this command as any other and in this abbreviated form, rep, and because this command has no selection, it's gonna affect everything. Of course, things that are hidden are not shown, but all that are shown are modified to be represented in sticks. Solvent, there's, uh, well, there's other atom specifications or let's call them groups or predefined groups. So for Chimera, the solvent is such a predefined blue, uh, sorry, such a predefined group. If I type hide or do not display the solvent, I don't need to specify that the solvent is water. The Chimera already knows that that is water, that everything that fits within given characteristics, it's gonna be, It's gonna be, uh, sorry, it's gonna be solvent. Color blue S, here I'm specifying that every uh, any atom that is um, a sulfur, it's gonna be color blue. That's why I only have a methionine, at, well, two methionines over here displayed in blue. 
and here protein now that I hit the solvent this command display protein is only going to show the protein not even if it was hidden but not the solvent or ions or any other thing that is not actually a protein so these definitions for example protein solvents and even the atoms they are very very precise and you can find them again clicking through this uh, manual for that matter Here you can also have this internal help. Help color, of course, will give us help about the colors. As, as you saw, what I did was select the command from this example, paste it on my Chimera window, and it opened this web page. So notice in the address that you don't have to be connected to the internet for this to work. These files are read from within your installation of Chimera. So it's pretty nifty in that you don't have to be always connected to the internet to work with your Chimera. Is it me or, or this, uh, oh, this podcast is going a little, the podcast, sorry, this stream is going a little too fast. I think maybe because I just did this tutorial in the menu version last week that it's easy, but I would like to hear from you either here on the Twitch stream or later on um, YouTube, please add to the comments. So what does this command, what will this command do? It's going to color in gold. That's a good question. It's going to color in gold. All right, so this option means atoms that belong to residues named glutamic and lysine. I think it's a little bit redundant, but let's try it. Okay, so those residues, supposedly gold, but I see them yellow, still called gold within the program, are all the glutamic acids, amino acids or residues, because this is a protein, as well as the lysines. Let's color it by the original color tan and by heteroatom, which is going to show only on the sticks. If we had ribbons, for example, this ribbon should also be shown. Ribbon? No, sorry. What, what should I say? Display? Mm, then show. Huh, so I guess I haven't been studying well enough. Mm, ah, just ribbon. Well, sorry. Ribbon. There we go. Now the ribbon is tan and the side chains are observed as tan. Ah, so this is an interesting one. Now, how do we do the selections? Here, the selection is done manually again control click but why don't we do it the way the command line should do it here we have the specifications we need lysine sorry glutamic 11 and lysine 15 from chain a from chain a so let's go select mm. uh, i'm gonna use Single, I'm going to use three letter call, code, glutamic. You know what? I think it's the easiest is to go for the number 11 from chain 11 and 15 from chain A. Mm, I, that didn't work correctly because it also selected this one. So then it means likely that I have to specify this last specifier that the we want that is. Um, the chain have to be specified for each residue. And that way I selected those two residues without having to use the mouse. Now what's next? Our label 
selection. Okay, so this means, let's click on this, display the labels for the selection. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I'm gonna copy this. What's, what am I doing wrong that I cannot copy? Oh, there we go. Aha, uh -huh, the label is tiny. <laughs> for I think I configured something here in a terrible fashion, but there you go, the labels are there. Because I didn't pick atoms, select up, I think it's gonna select the whole chain, but I'm gonna do it just to show that how that, that that's w how does that work and it replaces using the up arrow it's all that that command do that command does you see so i guess i can have select down and return to my original sorry if i don't misspell it and return it to my original selection show cell i guess it's gonna be show only those oh okay show cell okay right so what it's doing it's it's hiding the representation that you have in this case sticks for everything except your selection that's why i only have the ribbons if i hide the ribbons these uh, these two residues are going to be floating in space now how to hide the labels last time that didn't work from the menus but it works in the command line, so that's good to know. Let's hide the ribbons, which is going to leave those residues floating, as I mentioned before. This display command is going to return everything, but my selection remains. And this is going to color everything by element, even if I have a selection. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, using both the command line, you can select the select, but also apply different um, actions on the selection or everything including or excluding the selection. This is a, a very simple close which is going to be quite literally close what we have here. The zero stands for the model if I had several models, I can close one model specifically. In this instance, the command stop, it's going to do quite literally that, close the program. So be careful when using stop because it's going to destroy whatever you were doing. So I guess we cover the same items and as the previous stream, the part one of the command version and the part one of the menu uh, version. Next time, we're going to cover part two using the menus and then the part two using the command version but i wanted to skip part two from the menu versions so menu versions so that you can see that the command line is also powerful it's gonna take a while to get used to it you don't have to memorize it but for sure it, it presents several several advantages which are that you can direct your selections you can specify things faster if you are just typing and something that sometimes is overlooked is that those commands that we're using in the command line can also be saved as a script so if you want to have certain actions taken every single time you can just write down your script and tell chimera to read your script and execute those actions and that's quite likely to save you save you time or just make things very quickly for you to be ready to work in what really matters, the analysis, not just the nice displays. Well, I think that I should stop. Today it's going to be a busy day or has been already a busy day. That was the reason I had to delay the podcast and the podcast. I keep calling it podcast, the Twitch stream. This is going to be uploaded, uploaded to YouTube soon. And well, please try to join me next time. I try not to modify the schedule as much i still need to verify that i can keep doing these tuesdays noon but i'll let you know either through youtube uh, or through twitter if you follow me later i'm gonna share my account so you know where to find me don't forget to practice these tutorials just go to the internet find in your favorite browser the location of the tutorial fire up chimera and you can do this same as i just did okay well, it's been a pleasure. Have a nice day.